Hey guys, Saki here from Saki Tech, and in today's video, I want to take a look at the OnePlus 6. So as you can see, I have the whole box dismantled here. We're going to skip the regular unboxing. But basically, this is what you get in the box. You get the phone, uh, you get a, a user manual and a case for the smartphone. And of course, you get the dash charger uh, block and also the dash charger cable. And as you know, dash charge can charge your OnePlus 6 in 30 minutes, you can charge from 0 to 60% battery life. So this is in fact an amazing little tool. Now in the box, you do not get any headphone jacks. Uh, in this box, you get a little TPU silicone case that you can uh, use to protect your smartphone. So that's nice to have a case out of the box to protect your phone. Now in this video, what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to dive into the OnePlus 6. I'm going to turn this thing on for the first time do a full setup to show you what the procedure looks like and also take a look at some of the features of the OnePlus 6. So let's dive in. And by the way, just so you know, this is the thing that came out from this red box over here. Uh, this is the user guide and you have a SIM card ejection tool. And of course, this is the case, the silicone case I'm talking about uh, that you can use to protect your OnePlus 6 right off the bat as soon as it comes out from your package. So you can use this until you get a newer, better looking case, okay? So that's a nice thing that they have included this little case in the box. Now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna clean up all this mess and I'm gonna put the phone in the center and turn it on for the first time, so let's do that. So here's the phone right now, let me uh, turn this on. Okay, so just a usual Android power up. And as you can see on the top, we have the notch, which is going to be pronounced as soon as there's more light here. All right, so here we have the initial setup screen. Uh, there's that notch, you got the camera there, and of course the earpiece built into it, and you've got the screen extending to the sides. So you do get a nice full screen view of the smartphone, except for the notch. Uh, the notch is something I personally do not like. Uh, but I don't have a problem with the notch when the phone is in portrait orientation. So I'm, if I'm looking at the phone just like this, it's not a problem. I even kind of like it. But when I flip the phone over into landscape orientation and watch a movie on it, that's when I have a problem with the notch because the notch seems to get in the way of the actual movie that I'm watching. It feels like it bites into the movie from the side. So we're going we're gonna to show you that in a minute. But let's uh, click start and set this thing up. So if I tap start over here, they want you to pick a font. So let's uh, choose either one of these guys. I like the, the way that one looks. So let's click next. And then you want to accept the terms and conditions. Click agree. Uh, click agree one more time. And you can either join or not join the user experience program where your phone will set, send feedback to OnePlus team uh, to improve the experience. I'm just going to say no thanks to this one. And uh, system stability program, again, same option. You can enroll or not enroll. No thanks. Uh, do you want push notifications from OnePlus in the form of surveys and product updates? Um, you know, fine, we'll take that. And then they want you to connect to a mobile network. I'm gonna skip that. I'm gonna connect to a Wi-Fi directly. But in this case, what you would do is you would use the, um, the SIM ejection tool to pop out the SIM tray and put the actual SIM card into the phone to be able to connect to your mobile network. So let's skip that as well. And now what I'm going to do is I'm going to set up as a brand new device. So tap on that as well. Let me connect to the Wi-Fi. Tap on this one and put my password in. Obtaining address. It's connecting. Uh, it's going to ask me to obviously connect a Google account to the smartphone, which powers the entire system. And there we have it. So tap on email. Let me just pop my email address right in. So account is being added right now. Uh, let's uh, see what happens. So they want you to f uh, set up face unlock. And as you know, face unlock is pretty damn fast. I'm pretty sure I read somewhere it takes less than 0.5 seconds to unlock the phone uh, the moment you look at the smartphone. So if you are doing that, I recommend that you set it up. But it's not going to be as secure as a fingerprint sensor. What I'm going to do right now is I'm going to skip it. So let's skip that real quick. Skip anyway. It's going to ask probably for some Google service questions. So let's uh, just enable all these guys. And let's uh, meet your Google Assistant. So let's click Next. I'm going to choose this because I do use the uh, location services a lot. So yes, I'm in. And then uh, you can either add another account 
review additional apps or you can just say no thanks and keep moving on uh, it's adding the finishing touches and boom there we have it uh, we have the main home screen of the one plus six now let me quickly increase the brightness a little bit it seems to be a little too um uh, on bright uh, we already have an update here i'm going to do that afterwards probably just a system stability update let's tap on and see what it is so again, it is just general bug fixes and stability improvements. So we're going to skip that. It is not a feature update. Uh, let's take a look at around the phone and see what it looks like. So that's first and foremost, let's go to the uh, app tray. So boom, we're in the app tray. This is Android 8.0. And then if you uh, press and hold on the screen, again, similar experience as to the vanilla Android. So I actually put the phone inside the actual case really quickly, uh, just so it doesn't slide everywhere because it does have a glass back. But let's continue looking at the uh, the thing I was looking at. So if you press and hold, you get the regular Android experience. Uh, you can tap on wallpapers. Uh, one thing I do like about the wallpapers is if you slide over, this is the lock screen, this is the home screen, and then you can pick a wallpaper. But the moment you click on a wallpaper, the wallpaper actually changes. So when I go home, it's already been applied. Okay, so I like the fact that you don't have to click apply. You just select the wallpaper that you want. Uh, let's get this one. You click home and boom, it's ready to go. So next up, let's take a look at the notch. So if I go to the settings over here, and if I go down to display, so you have a bunch of settings here, you go to display, uh, you can go to the notch display, tap on it, and simply from here, you can hide the notch or show the notch, it's up to you. So if I hide the notch, I'm pleased to say that when I go back into the home screen, it almost seamlessly looks like there is no notch, okay? Uh, of course, if you look at it from certain angles, you can tell, but the black is black enough that it blends in with the actual notch, giving the camouflage that it's not actually there. But if you like the notch, which, uh, like I said, it's not a problem in a vertical orientation, you can go back to the settings, go to display, tap on notch display, tap on this guy, and boom, the notch is now available. Okay, so let's look around a little bit more. I'm not gonna go into full depth in this video, but I, I am gonna make another video that shows you all the features of the OnePlus 6 as far as software is concerned. So, but one thing that I do like is obviously you have the notifications panel, you've got your tray and all that good stuff. This is all standard Android things. Uh, but if you do go to the settings, and if you do go down a little bit, uh, this is the top part. But if you go to customization, this is a menu I really, really like. Uh, so, if, for example, you have you can customize the alert slider. That's the physical slider here that allows you to go from ring, vibrate, or silent by physically uh, using a slider. Okay, so you can actually uh, modify that. You can tap on silent, and you can tell it, tell the phone what needs to be silent when I put the slider into the silent mode. So that's that. That's the slider customization. You can do buttons customization. So from here, you have all these features. Uh, one thing over here is the navigation bar and gestures. So if I tap on this one, you can have a fixed navigation bar. You can have uh, you can hide the navigation bar. So if I tap this, the navigation bar here will disappear. If I tap this, just like that. If I scroll it down, and if I if I want to bring it up, I just go like that. It comes right up. Okay, so I can hide it, or I can bring it up. And uh, as a matter of fact, if I tap anywhere on the screen, it goes down. So we can do fixed, it stays right there, no problem. And of course you have navigation gestures. So if I tap on this guy, you have a bunch of navigation gestures, uh, which can take you back into the home screen if you do things like this, okay? So fixed is what I'm gonna keep, go back out. You can also choose things like if I double tap on the home screen, uh, uh, the circle button here, if I long press, I want the assistant to come out, which is Google Assistant. But if I double tap, I can have one of these things happen. So for example, let's just tap on this shelf. Oops, open shelf. If I double tap, it's gonna bring up the shelf. The shelf is a screen that sits on the side of the uh, OnePlus 6. So let's go back into the settings, go back into the customization here. Uh, again, so this is all stuff I'm gonna cover in the next video. So you can make a lot of mod modification to these buttons here. Go back out, you have the gestures. And here's the one thing I like. You can draw stuff on your lock screen, which can launch an application. So let's say draw O, what happens? So tap it. When, it, when I draw an O, I want the calculator to launch. So let, let me show you what that looks like. Turn the phone off, draw O, and as you can see, the calculator pops right up. Okay, so that's what that is for. Again, in the customization and gestures, 
and you can do a lot of other things over here uh, if you want to take a look and then go back out you can modify the status bar on the top here the battery styling can be battery circle as you can see or battery can be hidden or you can actually show the battery bar you can show the network speed so how fast are things happening and you have the icon manager that allows you to change the icons on the top of the navigation bar so you can hide stuff or you can show stuff so if Wi-Fi is over here if I tap this Wi-Fi is gone Bluetooth I can hide that as well okay so these things you can modify but again there is a quick overview of the OnePlus 6 it is fast and snappy uh, I don't see any performance issues right now even though the, the phone is fresh but again OnePlus 6 is known for having the latest version of Android 8 gigabytes of RAM and this does happen to be the phone with the 8 gigabyte version and uh, of course if you go to the about phone you'll see that the um, the storage is 128 RAM is 8 Android 8.1.0 and of course oxygen OS 5.1.5 and that's everything I'm going to cover in this video for now. Uh, make sure you subscribe to see the full tips and tricks video for this phone. For now, make sure to subscribe to Saki Tech. Give this video a thumbs up and let me know if you would consider to have a OnePlus 6 or perhaps you already own one. If you do have one, let me know what, uh, what version did you get. Did you get the 6 gigabyte version for $529 or the 8 gigabyte version for $579? All right, guys, make sure to follow me on Twitter, Facebook, and Instagram at Saki Tech Online for the latest updates. For now, have a fantastic day.